We're out here with the person on the street, and I'd like to ask you about the Met debacle. Are you a Met fan? I was. You, you, please elaborate. Come on, I'm in mourning also. Uh, yeah, I, I'm a Met fan, but not no more. <laughs> oh, hey, <yeah>. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <stick. laughs> Come on down, George. Come on down, baby. Come on. Come welcome on. to Team C Sports, where we, we spared no expense. <laughs> We're having animals do live tricks. Oh, oh. Okay, Georgia. Alrighty. <laughs> anyway, if 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 you wa if you watched last week's show, we were talking about how the Jets were going to be the only team that uh, that could give uh, New England. They gave any, them a run for their they, money. They gave them a run for their they money. Gave for them a run for bit. their money. I mean, what do you think about that call? You mean the no touchdown call for yeah. the Jets? Yeah. The, it was the right call. You think so? It was the right call. That's why we have super slow mo. And you've got this giant 27-inch, you know, plasma sitting over here, you know. 32-inch. So, oh, excuse me, 32. It's 32. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom line, right call. When they have the instant replay and they have several angles and they get it right, I tip my hat to them. You tipped your hat. Mm-hmm. You, is your hat like this, a zebra? Yeah, yeah, I got a zebra hat too. You have a zebra hat? Yep. And, and how about if you're a giant fan? You're dying today, aren't you? Tell the truth. Wait a minute. We me, know somebody who's a Giant fan who's dying. We, we were talking. He's behind the camera The, the right guy now. behind the camera. We were talking, <laughs> folks. And as you've seen, the way the Giants had laid a stinker, you know, they really didn't show up. This, where was this game played at? It was played in... Uh, it was in the Meadowlands? Yeah, it was in the they Meadowlands. They should have played on the road because they have a better road record than they do at home. But as uh, we were speaking about before, the Giants are going to have to pay the play the Patriots for real at the end of the season. Nobody's going to have any time off except for Shockey. And this has been some weekend because, look, you had the Dolphin team that, that went from being unwinning. Winless, being unwinless, winless. And now they, they won a game. And it's funny because who did they beat? They beat Baltimore, mm -hmm. which is a team that almost beat. It almost beat the Patriots, who never had a loss. Yeah. Did somebody say irony? Does that, does that fit the? Yeah. Never mind. This is Cheap Sea Sports. C H E E P S E E T Z Z. <laughs> At the end. <laughs> That's two Z's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's two Z's. How does he do that? Yeah, two Z's, please. Uh, how do you get to fix it? If, I do, that, if I do that now, you'll have to call the paramedics. Yeah. Well, like Jeremy Shockey, you, you broke yeah. a leg or something. Yeah, I'll break something. It's a, but that's a rough break for the Giants. But, hey, you were telling me earlier that you like that other tight end who caught the touchdown for the Giants. Yeah, I, I like that guy, boss. You know, like the guy, at least he knew how to run a route. At least he knew how to catch the ball. Forget about <laughs> running around. I mean, you know, listen. So, and you know why the Miami Dolphins won that game? No, why did they win? Because they had the 72 crew in the house. Oh, they were there? Yeah, the grumpy old men. So, so what did they do? They threatened them? Hell yeah. How you expect, you know, you're going to see a bunch of old dudes with walkers and canes come in the locker room, and you know a couple of them old guys can still put something behind it. Oh, yeah. If they, if they, what, they're going to probably throw Zonk at them or something. <laughs> <laughs> but how do we look so far the way this, this Sunday they, if unfolded? In well, it's opinion? been a wild game. I tell, it's been a wild. I, I mean, this Sunday I got I got four four wins or five? Four Is wins it or five? five wins? Five wins? Hey. Stop uh, laughing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What Our you, crew is falling asleep here. Oh, yeah. man. They just woke up. Five, games. five wins. I won five. I won five. So I was five and 11. I was five and 11 this week. Yeah, yeah well. What were you? I, I went, what, eight and eight? I went eight and eight. And if I'm correct, I picked the Miami win this week. You picked it? Yes, I did. Did I, Ronnie? Ronnie, did I pick it? No, it was me. No, nah, that was me. It was me. No, nah, our statisticians are going to come up with a short. That's his one win. That's his one win for the for. No, it's, that's his one win for the week. This is not my one win for the week. That uh oh, oh man, we got people calling. There's a lot. There's a lot going on, folks. It's somebody's birthday. We won't mention who. But but <laughs> but anyway, uh, the Giants. I mean, they they look really bad against Washington. Oh, man. Now, that's going to be a good game next week, provided that my Minnesota Vikings can knock off the Bears tonight. Because next week we have Washington versus the Redskins. Yeah. Wait a minute. Did I just say Washington versus the Redskins? Yeah. I mean said. Minnesota versus Washington. What's wrong with him? Did you send him to school there? What did you do with all that money? By the way, the Packers played a big game against the Rams. Brett Favre did something else. What did he do this week? He became the all-time yardage leader in passing. In passing? Passing. 
So he passed. Uh, Dan Marina. Oh, another fish fries. An- <laughs> <laughs> another fish fries. Yeah. Oh man! Can you tell me what the hell's going on with the with the Seahawks? They lost thirteen to ten against the Panthers. The Panthers. I had picked the Seattle Seahawks. I lost that one. And a lot of people are talking about these Jaguars. The Jaguars can do some damage because they was able to give the Colts a run for the money, and they um, they beat they, the Steelers, and they and they shocked the Steelers. Yeah, yeah. And, and the Eagles beat the Cowboys. You think she's going to show up any more games? This girl, what's her name? Hey, uh, FYI, do you did you know Jessica that Simpson? that last year, yeah. Carrie Underwood was in the house for Tony Romo, and he stunk up the joint. This year, he had uh, Jessica Simpson. Yeah. That was Jessica, yeah, Simpson. Jessica Simpson. My suggestion is, don't bring your girlfriend to work. You play football. You don't need her up there in the stands. If anything, you date your cheerleader. Because they always hit the game anyway. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And the Colts, the Colts got over on, uh, on the Raiders 21-14. They got over on the Raiders. It was almost a scare, and uh, they could have um, blew that one. By the way, I, I want to let everybody know that the uh, rumors out of Detroit are, are false. And what's that? They're not making cars, and the Lions still not playing football. That means They're, they won't get to 10 wins? They lost again, 51-14. Two games left in the season. They can't get 10 wins? 14 Oh, that's right. Yeah. Mathematically, you can. Okay. What yeah. we got coming up in our next segment? Well, we, we, we don't have a man on the street because it's too cold out there to do the man on the street. Because if it's if, if it's a guy, we're going to do the, the ice pop on the street. The ice pop because, hey, you know, standing there trying to get him as we're leaning in, on the ice. But but anyway, we're, we're coming back with uh, some more. Uh, we'll probably talk about uh, steroids and all that good stuff when we, when we come back. Cheap Seat Sports. That's C-H-E-E-P-S-E-E-T-Z-Z. That's two Z's at the end. Well, let's see if, if, if let's for, before we go into baseball, we got a lot of okay. stuff. The, the, we, we have sharp objects to talk about. <laughs> uh, New England clinched already, and they're fortunate you know, with, with a chance okay. to go. You know, they're the only only the second team in the history of the NFL to go fourteen and zero. But the other be, well, one, the yes. other one being being that was the that was. But well, wait a minute now, fourteen and zero, fourteen and zero. That was, are you making a reference to the 72? 72 Dolphins. The, the 72 only, Dolphins. Yeah, okay. That's right. And please continue. What else do you have there? Uh, Indianapolis is, is in the playoffs. Of course, yes. In the, in the uh, uh, North Division in the uh, American Conference, there's nobody in the playoffs yet. Who's up in the AFC because North? Because Cleveland, Cleveland could. Uh, well, Cleveland and could, Pittsburgh is fighting for that slot, right? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm looking, I, like, I like Cleveland. No, yeah. no, no. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No. Let me make a retraction. <laughs> He's not well. Oh, it's cold outside. I've got some frozen brain cells. All right. Ever since Pittsburgh took the hit from from uh, New England, somebody give me some Patron. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my cousin Fred in Co-op City, along with Elsko and my man Fred Bugs. Fred Bugs. Oh, and we can't forget. We just had a delivery here to the set. By Robert, the UPS guy. Way to go, Brown. What can Brown do for you? And he did for us by bringing the big guy bear a package. And I also <laughs> like to say what's up to my buddy, Mike Figueroa. He's in the 140 pound, uh, 141 pound weight division for the Golden Gloves coming up soon oh, here in New York City. While you're, while you're at it, why don't you say hello to everybody at the gym? Oh, yes. Let's say hello to everybody down at. What was the name of it? Mm-hmm. See, I can't get that right. I got it, you know, when it comes Juan to... Juan Laportes. Yes, the Juan Laportes Boxing Gym. There you go. All right? Cool, cool. 